What's poppin' Slick Block? It's your boy, the Orange Gamer, and I'm back. You back with some more Hogwarts Legacy. Last time, that's what we up to. That's what we did. That's what we're doing. And I'm just trying to figure out my way back in. All these where I entered in that, but I'll see it works. My mother was Hello, looking for me? Here you go, my next cars. The only available when I turn my head. <laughs> Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade else's experience. Stuff is like... Sun bleached. It's like not as vibrant. I didn't pay attention. It's just like legacy stuff. Oh, well, that's a vibrant yellow. Let me do something. Take their game. Really? Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I thought the boy was trying to be nice. I'm going to run after I catch up. Should I maintain this distance? Every time I chase after she goes. Revelio. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient ruins. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. I mean, I see, I don't think I should be able to jump over this. What I mean when I say that? Revelio. Uh, this is his jump? Okay, maybe. Oh. <laughs> that was my expecting there. Me. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. I like her accent. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Really, really. Let me go. I was gonna pull it up. Fuck. 
Look, from the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Prance Hoof and Sugarfoot. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. The ruin? Uh, I, I didn't see it. No, I don't know. Revelion. Oh, past this ruin. Okay. I would spend all of my time exploring really if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. I agree. <laughs> Into street. <laughs> Revelio. I hate this. You should just follow me. Why am I following you? So come to hit me at some point. I already know it. Disappointing. Oh. I tried to ah, move on that small copper path. 
find it rather boring. Although, in all fairness, it only partially works. Rebellion. Nobody can do a hex like me. Bow. Take your head off. You saw that first year with the engorged head. Just like How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? Well, I still miss my homeland, time. but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Um, yeah, I came up here, I think. Yes. The two dudes. Again, you should just be following me. He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. <sighs> what did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Can you just assume he's lying because he's drunk? Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Letty. Thank you. All right, we just go slow. All of this is worth acting. Wait. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. That's the and same you can person. get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. Rebellion. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and 
A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Olivanva, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience hugs me at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. I'm gonna be honest with you. Enjoy I yourself. I will see you soon. I would definitely try and craft my own wand. So I would do. More like uh ferrets. Revelio. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand-makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm... Uh... No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. I believe that's my wand from a... Uh... Oh, 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 my. oh, goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, 
This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Yeah, so it was Alder. Yep, an unyielding wood. Yet I have discovered the idol owner is not stubborn or obstinate, but often helpful, considerate, and most likable. Whereas most one would seek similarity in the characters of those they will best serve, Alder is unusual that he seems to desire a nature that is not. That is, that is, if not precisely opposite to its own, then certainly of a remarkable different type. When Alder one is happily placed, it becomes a magnificent, loyal helpmate. Of all one types, Alder is best suited to non-verbal spell words. Whence comes his reputation for being suitable only for the most advanced witches and wizards? The Dragon's Core. As a rule, dragon heart streams produce wands with the most power and which are capable of the most flamboyant spells. Dragon wands tend to learn more quickly than other types. While they can change allegiance as one from the original master, they always bond strongly with the current owner. The dragon wand tends to be easiest to turn to the dark arts, perfect for me, though it will not incline that way of its own accord. It is also the most prone of the three course the accent is being somewhat temperamental. Going along with my alder wood, which just means it's an extremely difficult one. 13 inches. Maybe 9 and 14 inches while I have so extremely short ones, 8 inches. So you know I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm right there. I'm right there. Is it eight inches? No, is it what? Between 9 and 14. So I'm an inch under 14. You know, I'm not. I'm right there. Slightly springy flexibility. Wand flexibility originally notes the degree of adaptability and willingness to change possessed by the wand and owner. So, I'm slightly springy. I'm willing to change slightly. Stuff honey brown. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. And another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. 
The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Yeah, uh, what's about to say? Definitely, if I was in this world, first thing first, if I was, if I went to the Wizardry School of Hogwarts, right, or any Wizardry School, and whether it's the American one, the, the I want to say African one. Stop a thief in their tracks right. One of the first things I would learn outside of magic, like you know, illusion, charm, and the uh, transfiguration, first modification, whatever, is, is I would learn how to uh, immediately, I would try to learn how to cast without a wand. So that I'm not helpless if I lose it. All right. I will learn potion making. Just you know, to substitute my magic where I'm lacking. And then I would learn how to create wands, so that at the very least I can have multiple wands, perfect for me. Because I created them just for me, you know? With all the enchantments to best suit me. And people of my lineage. I think it would be amazing. I mean, like, build a wand for, like, a friend, or a lover, or a host companion. Portrait one day. I wouldn't want to be hung next to you. Hey, I walk around this. Just to talk to me. I came in and I robbed them. Okay. So obviously I'm not supposed to be here yet. Rebellion. Okay, 
okay, so that's a downgrade to what I got. It's probably an upgrade to my, uh, my first spot. So this is probably one of those chests where you guys sneak up on. Maybe like right here. Revelio. Probably got like, for like a visibility, invisibility post on or... get over here. What the hell's going on? I think I'm supposed to come here. <sighs> I think distinguished school cloak. Shop around the wrong place. Okay, 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 okay. Nope, nope. Visit Jay's Pimpin's Potions. Pimpin Potions, is this? Rebellion. Zonos. Okay, right, so this is Eagle Bitch. Soft Hog Need. Yeah. Yeah. Lumos. I saw a chest. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure I saw a chest over here. Rebellion. Yep, nope, nope, okay. Uh. Uh. Okay, so I came here. Like this. 
there's the scroll shop. An inquiring the mind. Revelio. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, yes. but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to, I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. J. Pippin's potions. This is six, this is seven, right? Ah, okay. It's just how nice it is. It's just one nice. I'm about to back in my fucking brain.
Where's my two? I guess we'll get like handles we can put on our one that will like increase stuff. That's interesting. Okay, let me talk to this guy. Wait. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some oh, recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake. They are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Recipes are more important. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Okay. Or come back yeah, another time if you're in a rush today. That might be worth it. Get this. All my money? Sure. I'm gonna need that. One more. Magic teeth. Neat. Nice hat with gloves. Revelio. No, no, something, something right here. I like how it vibrates. Let me know I'm near some. I need to find all the other shops. I can find this one. I can 
fucking find it, right? Rebellio. This is it or not, but I'm gonna check. went outside. Revelio. Lumos. Alright. Oh, what is this again? A lamp post. A lamp post. Besides this, this is me purposely making it more difficult, but you know. Just the outside. Rebellion.
Revelio. Accio. Lumos. Levioso. Reparo. Revelio. Revelio. That's nice. Shit. What are these chests? Revelio. Any closer to my goal? Almost. Almost. Why keep going this way? I'm gonna cut out. I'm gonna log this out. I don't know what I'm gonna cut out actually. I don't even know how. I, I, don't, I don't even know. Revelio. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the ditterly for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. 
You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dipney seeds? Let me guess. Uh, You're after something it. fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. I can sell these two, but like this is legendary, this is superb. Shop. The next episode, we just we go back to class. We go back to school. Uh, this was an interesting episode. It was interesting because I don't really know what to get rid of. I would say, you know, I was running around looking for this place. But like the the problem with that. Is that I was catching shit. Like right there. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna cut out. Or something like in towards the beginning. This was DOI's game with Slick Block Mafia. Where, where's my save at? I'm gonna subscribe to Slick Block. I'll save it here. The dose is Espeon. DWG is out. Peace. Peace.